we're going to talk about today is actually achieving something that you've been trying or something that you really want to do and how to cope with the nerves and the pressure of actually getting from the bottom to the top of the boulder problem. If you really want to do it, there's going to be pressure on you. And what I want to talk about is how to deal with that pressure. And if you see a lot of the, the good climbers, the climbers who are winning stuff, the climbers are achieving stuff, you look at them and you think, how the hell did he do that? How did he pull it out of the bag? He was off every move and he's done it. And you see other climbers who don't do things, and you think, God, that guy, why did he fall off that? It's ridiculous. And it's all the same thing. It's all here. It's all how you think. So I'm going to tell you some of the things which I would do on red points, which I've done. And I've had, you know, nearly all my hardest red points I've done first go. I'll work them for whatever time. And when I'm about to do them, I'll do them first go because I just get really prepared. I've done ball problems I've done for four years. And yes, you're it. You're, you're really nervous. Everybody's nervous. Everybody. And the way I think about it is that any great achievement, in any world record that's been broken, anything great that's been done, the guy's always nervous. If you're doing the 100 metres, you're in the sprint blocks, every one of those guys is shitting themselves. But it doesn't mean they're not going to win a, uh, you know, break a world record. So nerves are a good thing because it's a release of adrenaline and you should feel that. Um, so when you get that release of adrenaline, you're nervous and stuff, you should think to yourself, good, I've got that extra bit of adrenaline that's going to make me rip. That's the way you should deal with it. Another way of dealing with it is goes, I'm nervous, I'm going to climb off, oh dear, oh, like this, you know, and then you, of course you'll climb but that's not because of the, the nerves, that's because you're thinking you're going to climb and the subconscious and the conscious mind work really hand in hand, so if you're thinking, I'm nervous, shit, I'm going to climb your subconscious won't differentiate between it, it won't go, oh, you're going to climb well, it's going to go, climb shit, so you go out there and climb shit, so what I'll do, just for a moment to do it, I'll, uh, a bit of a rest and I'll just sit back and I'll look at it and I'll just go through it in my mind so I'll just picture it, picture myself do it and try and feel how I'm going to climb the, the problem. You can stand back, you know, and I can look at myself sitting there under the thing, enjoying myself, feel nice and nervous, feel great. And what I emphasise is it's really, really important you visualise the thing to the top, even if it's the last two moves and nothing. And that's why I think you see a lot of people on red points, they'll climb up, get near the top, they do all the crux, they haven't visualised it, they're not ready for it, they're on these easy moves and they're like, ah, it's a five nine slab, oh god, what do I do here? Like that, because they haven't, they're not ready for it. You've got to be ready for the whole thing. Don't shortcut it and think once I got that hole, I've done it, because you've never done it until you got on top and people fall off the most ridiculous moves. It's not over until you're on top. And what that would do, because you're actually visualising yourself do it, doing it, that should sort of like lower your anxiety level because what you want to be is nervous, but you don't want to be anxious, and the two are very different. And when you pitch yourself, doing it all to the top, it'll lower your anxiety level, make you a little bit more relaxed, because you're actually doing it, you're picturing yourself doing it, and you're feeling it, you're believing that you can actually do it. And then when you feel ready and you feel confident to do it, just walk up to the bottom, and just, just keep it really simple. You don't want to over pull the start. It's important you get a good start on a problem, because if you start out bad, it's really hard to pull it through and climb good at the end. Meaning that if your feet are slipping on the start and you're sketching a little bit, it's really hard to pull it together and start being accurate. So it's really important you get a good start. So you want to stay on each move. Don't get ahead of you. Don't think about the crux. Don't think about the end. Don't think about the beginning. Don't think about uh, how important it is to do it. Just try and stay in the present, meaning that just take each move as it comes. Each move as it comes. Don't worry about trying to pull hard when you get to the crux. When you get to the crux, believe me, you'll pull hard. You will do. You're not going to go out there and just go and let go. So you're just nice and relaxed, nice and smooth. Sit on the start and then just think one thing. And I just think accuracy. I just try and think, be accurate and do every move well. And just try and hit every hold exactly where you want it. And every foothold exactly where you want it. And that keeps you in the present and keeps you doing each move at a time. You don't get ahead of yourself. You don't want to be on the crocs when you're on the first move. You've got to stay in the present. So you just get nice and relaxed on the bottom. Let all the energy flow out of you. And just sit, sit there and just think, right, it's going to be nice and accurate. And I'm going to enjoy it. Sometimes when you're trying things for a long time, you're really stressed out. And it doesn't sometimes feel like fun because it's hideous. Because you've been trying it. You might have the one good day you've been waiting for. And you know that something's coming along. might be your last time on the thing. So try and enjoy it. So just get right, I'm only going to do this once, I'm going to enjoy it, this is it.
hate being filmed. Stop it now. Sum up, visualize the problem to the top, relax your whole body, be totally accurate. You want to enjoy the actual ascent of the problem that you're doing because you may not ever want to do it again. Uh, it might be dangerous, it might be really difficult and if you're only going to do it once in your life, you want to really enjoy it and sometimes it's hard to realize that just before you're about to do it and then it's over and it's, it's too late, you want to actually enjoy your time climbing the route. That's, that's what it's all about.